Well, speaking of germs, do you ever put a slice of lemon or lime in your beverage? Many times. <laughs> a lot of us add it to our water or iced tea, maybe yep. even a cocktail. <laughs> uh, but three on your sides, Gary Harper says the next time you might want to skip it. Well, think about it. If you're at a restaurant and you put a slice of lemon into your drink, you don't know if that lemon was ever washed or how many dirty hands touched that lemon. As you're about to see, that's not good. At most restaurants, you have the option of adding lemon to your drink, but a three in your side investigation reveals you might want to think twice before using that lemon. My first thought was I will never order lemon in my drink again. At the request of three in your side, biology students over at Phoenix College went to several central Phoenix restaurants where they collected lemons that were placed in their drinks. Well, we just went in as, you know, normal customers. We asked for either a cup for some water or a drink. Once they had several lemons, the students brought them back to their lab where, under supervision, they swabbed them and then put their results into a petri dish. Then we put those lemons in a broth, kind of like chicken soup for bacteria, to see what was brewing. The results were rather surprising. Out of five Valley restaurants, two lemons came back positive for E. coli and salmonella, serious bacteria that in some cases could make you sick upset tummy, even worse diarrhea, you may experience some vomiting, but in most cases they'll run their course pretty quickly. As for the lemons collected from the other three remaining restaurants, they came back without any bad bacteria at all, and there may be a reason for that. Two of the five had the lemons out in an open area where customers themselves could also reach in to obtain a slice of lemon, and that may be reason to pause and think uh, twice before you choose to put that lemon in your drink. Yeah, turns out when lemons are sitting at a bar or accessible to consumers at, say, a fast food restaurant, those are the lemons that will most likely be contaminated. So the next time you want a little lemon in your drink, go for it. Just be careful what you do with it. If you like the lemon, you get the lemon yourself, give it a quick squeeze, but don't drop it down in your drink. And if you think alcohol, like in a cocktail, might kill off some of the bacteria, that's not necessarily the case because experts say even the strongest booze won't kill that bacteria. I'm Gary Harper, three on your side.